Hi, welcome to the first session of SAP controlling training module. This is a video based training and the training will come cover the complete SAP controlling module which will include an overview on some of the advanced sub modules of controlling as well. So in today's topic in today's training we'll be covering an introduction to SAP and it will include the table of content as on the screen an overview on SAP ERP on the ERP part then evolution and ERP features and an overview on SAP then why SAP has been so successful SAP system environment architecture SAP NetWeaver overview which is a new technology on which SAP works and an SAP solution manager overview so this first chapter provides a broad overview of the SAP solutions how they have evolved and the basics of the new architecture or technology foundations that are found in the new set of products or components of the SAP NetWeaver integration platform. This chapter includes an overview of the current state of SAP solutions focusing on the main features of SAP ECC and providing background information about the evolution of the SAP solutions so as to provide a better solution to the customers so it also provide useful information for thousands of customers still running on some of the previous SAP releases. So we'll also include the overview on the uh, the technical part that is the SAP NetWeaver component and the SAP solution to that. So moving on to the first topic that is overview on ERP. So ERP which refers to E for enterprise R for resources, P for planning. It is an integrated information system that serves all departments within an enterprise. ERP is a way to integrate the data and processes of an organization into one single system. Software solutions that addresses the enterprise needs Taking the process view of an organizational goal, tightly integrating all the functions of an enterprise in one software. So the enterprise resource planning, which is known as commonly known as ERP software, is a concept that is started in 1970s and was meant to provide computerized solutions for integrating and automating business processes across companies back offices like such as financial logistics or human resource departments the idea behind ERP was that the companies could be could see a cost reduction and better efficiency in the way they operated with their business partners that is customers banks authorities etc and provide better information to them. For that concept that were, were already several solutions in the market since that time during the 1980s and the beginning of 90s since the introduction of SAP in the first part of 1990s SAP R3 become a clear market leader in the ERP solutions and today SAP is the is the friend leader in the ERP solutions to most of the clients all around the world. So we can have a look at how ERP has evolved on the screen as you can see that it started from 1960s as a material requirement planning but later on it moved from that to loose loop MRP and then to MRP2 in the 80s which took the shape of SAP which took the shape of a normal ERP enterprise resource planning. So is the evolution of manufacturing requirements planning that is MRP from the business perspective ERP has expanded from coordination of manufacturing